I've got a hatchet, no food, very little water. I'm in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Almost been 48 hours without water. Les Stroud takes us behind the scenes of his hit show. There's no cameraman, there's no yes. audio guy, just you. You wouldn't fake anything. Les, he's the only one that really did that. You know how to survive in any kind of situation. And I want you to think as you listen and see some of the stories that Les is going to share about how we look at things that might seemingly be impossible and how we can employ creativity in very heated situations to win in each and every opportunity that we've got there. Ladies and gentlemen, Les Stroud. The success instinct, it's your own natural ability to come up with or recognize a great idea. That's your success instinct. Those ideas are the solutions to your problems. They're the pathway in your search for success. That's what I'm here to share with you today. How to take your ideas and how to run with them, how to manifest them. The first stage is simply discovering, having, liberating the idea itself. Some of the ideas are going to be hmm, benign, and some of them might even change the world. The first thing I do is say, all right, you need to make a proactive decision on how to move forward. You cannot do that without knowledge. You must have knowledge. The first bit of knowledge is, what do you have close at hand? Now I can make a decision, and here's the decision. Here's what I'm going to do to survive. If I don't calm down, then my decisions are not based in knowledge at all. The real magic of the success instinct is using that instinct to recognize which of a plethora of ideas is the right one. All right, you have an idea. You're developing it. What's stage two? Risk. Now you need to risk the idea. Up until now, your idea has been coddled and protected. Now, it's the big gatekeepers, it's the big sharks, and they are merciless, they are uncaring, they don't care anything about you. They just want your idea to be a winner. I walked down the hallway and I pitched the idea of the series of Survivor Man to the head of Discovery Channel. And she said to me, and I quote, Les, no one is ever going to want to watch people survive on television. There is something that I believe to be very true that you have to remember. You're the only one that has the real full passion. You have to step up to the plate. And then I thought, no, this is a good idea. So I walked down the hallway, went right into Anna Stambolic's office. And Anna Stambolic said to me, you're kidding, right? My gosh, Les, I've been watching your success with that. It is wonderful. Yes, let's do this. And Survivor Man was born. For a very brief and fleeting moment, get excited. Feel energized. Congratulate yourself because actually you've arrived. Now, take a deep breath and let's get to work. With great ideas, they, they never come easy. Recognize that all this hard work you're doing results in something that nobody else in the world has ever done. Beyond achieving material success, expanding your company, your ideas will always take on a life of their own. They will do things out in the world that you would never have dreamed of. It's amazing where one small, simple idea can take you.